Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and today I'm gonna rank the zodiac's top signs that make you say WTF? What the Sunny? He made me go like I'm like you know, and he like and I'm like he do the thing, and then he show up for like and he bring me flowers, and then he bring chocolate, but he eat half the chocolate. And I'm like Sunny, what the pull? He gotta go. He make my eyes go blur, and not in like the good way, Sunny. That's what I said. All right, signs that make you go WTF? You guys got that? All right, now, every sign can do things that make you blink, all right? You know, make you look twice and even make you question what just happened. Some signs do it a lot and some signs do it like a lot. And generally, each sign does it in a slightly different way, but the outcome's usually the same. And as always, this list is a bit subjective, but it's also based on astrology. So if you have your own list or comments, then please leave them in the comment section below. You guys got it? All right, that's the overview. Next, we gotta do some admin, you know? We gotta do some admin. So if you like, go ahead and skip away. Skip, I'll catch up with you later in the video. Here's the action. I created a Patreon account and a PayPal donation button for everyone who can help support the channel financially. Every little bit helps and I super appreciate all of the support. In addition to that, the only way we can honestly grow the channel is by sharing the videos. So if you like the video, please give it a, blah, 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 a thumbs up. Definitely, um, you know, definitely share with your friends on Facebook and tweet it out to your homies on Twitter or any other social media platform that you that you subscribe to or that you, you hang out or that you goof with or hang out with. And if you haven't done so yet, definitely, please, super definitely subscribe to the channel. In addition to all of that, the um, I am a professional astrologer. That should be obvious, but it's not so obvious on YouTube, <laughs> just got to say. But I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. So... If you want a reading, all you got to do is message me at the email above and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And just to let you know what's involved in a reading, you get your natal chart, which is your like your astral birth chart, which tells you a rising sign and all that kind of thing, your moon sign and that. And um, but that's, you know, you can get that free anywhere on the Internet. It's not a big deal. But like I got to give it to you anyways, because and then you also get uh, your natal Kepler report, which is an in-depth uh, birth report. Um, astrological report that you can't really get anywhere else on the internet and you can't get it for free anywhere that's the first thing and um, you got to go to an astrologer who actually uses Kepler and they're you know that's it's a major pro kind of thing <laughs> and so anyways so it's not that easy to get but it's probably one of the best things you could possibly get and so you get that and you also get your two to three month natal your two to three month transit forecast that lets you know what's coming up in the world. And on top of all of that, you get an, a one hour Skype reading with me. So it's a little less, a little longer than an hour. And you can ask as many questions as you like. I know like some guys are like a paper question kind of thing. And some guys when they do Tarot like the paper card. But I'm not into that. I want to answer all of your questions. And I take the time to make sure to get it right. Because I wouldn't be here without you. And I'm here to help you. And so... And I really like it too. So if you have any questions, like if you're a love question, like if you know someone else's birthday and you want to know if that person lines up with you, or if like you're starting a new job or you want to quit your job or you know you're worried about health or money or relationships, anything you want to know, then just uh, write it all down and I'll answer all of your questions. All you got to do is message me at the email above and book an appointment, and uh, and we'll get down and we'll and we'll go through it one your questions one by one. I love to help, and that's why I'm here. All right, on top of all of that, you know, the readings aren't free, and um, uh, but I do raffle off one reading every week here on the sunny side on the live stream, which is every Friday at noon. So if you want a reading and it's a little pricey, then by all means, uh, tune into the live stream and um, enter the raffle, and you got a chance to win a reading. All right, that's the admin. Next, here we go. Oh, it's hot in the studio today. It's hot. Oh, man, it's hot. All right, here we go. Do 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 do. What the frick? Sonny, she kick, she kick, she tried to kick me in my happy sacks, make me go ah 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 ah. Did you deserve it? I deserve it a little bit. So okay. We all deserve it, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. Imagine this. All right, guys, here we go. Imagine this. Let's say it's like Labor Day weekend, all right? Hypothetically speaking, and you're at the cottage with the gang or you rally the troops to go camping or like me here in Van City, you're gonna meet up with everyone later on at Rec Beach. All right, everyone cool? All right, so, okay, so you're hanging at the barbecue, right? So you're out there at the beach, you're hanging at the barbecue and this really pretty girl slides up to you at the potluck table and starts talking. 
she seems okay, you know, like we're at the beach, right? And there are a lot of people around, but it's also a closed party, like obviously, right? So she must know somebody here. And then again, it's not like I've ever gone to the wrong party and just started hanging out myself, all right? So just saying, <laughs> just saying, but she seems to know everybody. Anyways, you guys are sharing a vibe and the scene is on the chill. Some friends are playing music and some strangers, you know, maybe some strangers from Seattle recognize you, you know, normal stuff. It's all cool and part of the trip. Then you and that cute girl, you know, who turns out to be pretty cool too, you know, she has an unusual way of looking at things. She's talkative, but not giving away too much and definitely not monopolizing the conversation. And truthfully, she's more funky than edgy, but she's definitely her own woman, right? All right. Now, as things progress, you notice that things are beginning to slide from the cute side of quirky to the questionable side of obscure. I mean, everything is cool, but when the two of you sit down to eat, she pulls out chopsticks from her sundress. Uh, and I mean, well, you're like a twisted and somewhat perverted, maybe you're like, let's say you're an egomaniacal double Scorpio, so you don't really flinch. Even though when she's eating her sushi, she's unwrapping everything and putting the seaweed wrapping in her pocket. All right, heads up, <laughs> okay? Now, you don't say anything because, well, you're at Rack Beach, okay? <laughs> and the adult strength pharmaceuticals are starting to kick in. And you're not sure if what you really saw actually happened or not. You're not sure. And you really can't rock any boats because, well, you're at Rack Beach and you're still wearing all of your clothes. And you're eating lunch. So, like, who's the weird one here, really? All right, that's a good question. That's a good question, sonny. You be irregular. Being a regular man, just got the problem. Okay, well, things are chill, right? And you're starting to hallucinate in that nice, you know, relaxed left coast kind of, I don't feel like doing any work this month kind of way. And you're thinking that you should both get naked so that everyone just stops staring, right? But you just sort of came to make an appearance in Jam. But this girl is interesting. She's traveled to cool and exotic places by herself. She's studying microbiology at university just for fun. Everyone knows her, which is, which is interesting because they're supposed to be your friends and you don't recognize anyone. But she's funky, cool, you know, and you're into it. So you're like, you know, Saba, baby, my brains are beginning to gap. You know, maybe we should like go for a walk or something. And she's like, she's cool, you know, let's go. And gathers everything up and puts it all in the compost bin. Ding, 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 ding. You guys catch that? All right, bells start to go off in your head. Who are the pretty girls who suddenly pull out chopsticks at a barbecue, who only eat the inside of sushi, who compost everything? All right, the picture is beginning to get clear. And so you take her hand and she seems to kind of like it, right? But it's more of like a hold hand so that you don't get lost as opposed to a loving or romantic kind of thing. And while you're walking to the water, she starts to say things about some of the animals scurrying by. And man, she's like really cute, right? And you're dying to call cancer on this one and speed dial your mom, but something's not right. If she was a cancer, then you'd be, she'd be, she would have been twisting, running back and forth, you know, her eyes would have grown the size of two moons and she'd look like she's just about to combust, you know? You know cancer's like, <laughs> I like that cancer, so cute. <laughs> okay, but not this one, right? She's cool, taking everything in stride. It's almost like she's a Libra, except she's not flirting with everyone and she's definitely a little left of center. Now, it's time to place your bets, okay? Time to place your bets, guys. You go down to the water, and you see guys fishing, and she's like, oh my God, that's so cruel! And you're like oscillating between a drug-induced friend's own experience and falling in love. When she reaches into her pocket and pulls out some of the seaweed and puts it lightly on top of the water, right? Then, a super cute giant fish jumps right out of the water, snatching the seaweed and landing on the ground in front of you. It's really something to behold, and definitely earns the degree of doo 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 WTF, like seriously, that is messed up, right? Now, the girl just smiles and releases the fish back into the ocean, and that's when it hits you. Number five, WTF of the Zodiac. And you gotta feel really stupid for doing all of this with your clothes on at a nude beach. Let's go play volleyball. Number five, numero saying, by far, the wild child. Do, 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 do. Aquarius, oh yeah, seriously, WTF. All right, next. Okay, like seriously, okay? So maybe you've been working really hard in the last month or so, and like, you know, you're not really on your game. And unless someone literally walks right up to you and, and they say they like you and give you a kiss, you're probably not going to notice anyways. So 
you know, it's, maybe it's time to just grab another beer. And so you cut yourself a break and head back to the party. And it's all cool. And when you guys get back there, the party's in full swing, right? The band's rocking a storm. You know, the cops are up at the hill while keeping watch. People are walking by selling stuff. And you turn to your girl and you say, do you want anything? I'm going to grab us a couple of beers. She's like, yo, wait, try this. Like, <laughs> like that's all it was like. Shit. Next. <laughs> like that. Try it. If I had a, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Your cute girl said, wait, try this. That's like, okay. <laughs> Happens every day. Okay, you don't know what it is, and truth be told, she probably saw it. Okay, what the hell? She's like, wait, try this. And you're like, WTF, seriously. And you drink it, because you're an idiot. <laughs> you don't know what it is, and truth be told, she probably saw it on a YouTube video and decided to make it for the party, and well, it tastes good, but suddenly everything starts to streak a little. Uh... <laughs> All right, you guys still in the game here? Then, this really cute rabbit jumps up in your face and is like, Hey, Sonny, what's the action? <laughs> and well, you're confused, right? And everyone's still looking at you funny because, well, playa, you still got your clothes on. You know, you're streaking and tripping and this bunny comes bouncing in your face. But like, you're the one still wearing your clothes. And the bunny is so cute. And, you know, so you go to say something back, right? But your, your brain's tripping. So she just hops off. And you're like, WTF, man, what just happened? But you look to the left and your Aquarius is gone, right? Well, there you go, friend zone. There you go, player. You can't, you know, you can't find the sexy crab you came to to the party to hang with in the first place. You know, the whole reason you're there. And everyone seems to know you, but like an idiot, you can't remember anyone's name. So you do what anyone would do at a Labor Day party on Canada's notorious Anything Goes Beach. You set off to find that cute bunny. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do now? Truthfully, you don't entirely know what's going on. So you ask a couple of guys if they've seen her and they just point in a vague direction that can't really be nailed down to any specific table. And definitely nothing standing still. But she's but you do see her. And she is she's gliding gracefully from table to table, you know. She has her food in a plate on one hand and she's eating and affably talking to everyone and generally being social and flirty and you know, I'm just pretty cool in general. Excuse me. And for the first time in a long, long time, you're like Oh my God, I finally met someone normal, you know? So you start to walk over, but before you can walk over and flash a smile, she back in your face, <laughs> you know? And she says, she's like, yo, Sonny, what's the action, right? Like, <laughs> but your money game, right? And no cute bunny's gonna make you flinch this action. So you're like, you know, all love all the time, baby. You got time for me? And for those who keep in score, that's checkmate in one move. Just saying, straight up. All right, whatever, Sonny. Okay, so, why have a Sonny? Okay, <laughs> any strange, you just demonstrated major intelligence, a super fast thinking brain, witty banter, and a quick rapport. Your game is on and it's time to play. Now, all you really know at this point is she's social, friendly, really cute, you know, kind of excitable from the giggles, but she's totally, totally into you and she knows you. All right, okay. Oh, and she's fast and always on the move. So saying, let's go check out the guys playing music is probably dead game action and will bore the hell out of her. She just ate, so that's off the table. You totally love to get her alone in the woods, but it's still premature to suggest a hike. But you can sense that she's a lot, you know, she likes a lot of external intellectual stimulation. So you're like, hey, you want me to read your tarot cards? <laughs> you know, I know you don't seem super new agey, but sometimes they're a lot of fun. Let's do it. You know, let's do it. That's all you got to do. But your cards are in your car. Ah, and both of you have to bounce to get them. No problem. She's up for an adventure. And truth be told, she really seems to like you. So you grab her hand and she smiles and you both go to your car to pick up your tarot cards. On the way, she's rubbing up against you, you know? She's happy as hell. You guys are talking about a million different topics, and you're like, wow, this girl's pretty cool. I wonder why she's here by herself. And, you know, and she knows who you are, you know? Remember, you come pre-approved at this party. So you guys sit down in the grass, and you begin to read her cards. This sounds kind of romantic. Anyways, with this sign, romance is number one. 
Anyway, she keeps laughing and touching your arm, and you're like, wow, you really found a keeper. Good job, player. So you open up a bit and tell her a couple of secrets, and in return, she lays some gossip down and tells you some secrets about other people. And truthfully, you have a lot of fun. And here's the kicker. She keeps calling you interesting, and you can tell that you're stimulating her mind. And as such, it's only a matter of time before her body's going to follow. Your game is tight, and every single card you pull seems to be an ace. Then out of the blue... Completely unexpected, her phone rings, and well, like obviously she answers, right? And you hear her say, she's like, "Hey, baby, I'm just hanging with Sunny. You know, the sax playing astrologer from YouTube. He's reading my tarot cards. I learned so much from him. He's really amazing. You should get him to read your cards as well." Then she hangs up and says, "Her boyfriend's waiting for her, and she has to go." And that, my friend, <laughs> is just the F and W2F way life rolls when you hang with our number four biggest W2F sign, Libra. Oh, you guys knew that was coming. <laughs> okay, whatever. Sometimes you just have to shake it off. Now, at this point, let's say you... Okay, so you got to shake that one off, okay? You did that to yourself. <laughs> Sonny, hey, man, I think she really likes me. I just get to keep it. Like, don't fall for it. Not like, okay. Okay, let's, okay. Now, at this point, let's say you see two girls and a guy walking into the woods. Like they're going on, you know, like they're going on a hike. And you're like, you know, looks like Playa could use a wing, you know? <laughs> and the super cur curvy, ridiculously loving and flat out beautiful girl to that you came to see is like totally nowhere in sight. And you're starting to think that maybe you came to the wrong beach in the first place. So you reach into your car and you pull out a couple of, you know, things to keep the party going, right? And you head out after them because, well, buddy looks like he's going to need a wing and you just happen to be a good wing sometimes. All right. So you enter the woods and you start to follow the path. It's cool. It's dark. You can't really tell where anyone or anything is, but like, what the hell, you know? Once again, it's not like you're winning any points here and the girl you're dying to talk to is nowhere in sight. So you keep following the path until, and you're totally not going to believe this one, but you hear some yelling and screaming up ahead and some splashing and some major commotion. And it's, you know, and it's, it's like, is commotion still a word? <laughs> like, okay. okay whatever. There's like a fuss going on up ahead, right? And so you race ahead to turn the corner into the path. And maybe you find yourself in a clearing. And you can see the guy, okay? The guy who was with the two girls, he fell into the river. And the current is strong and it keeps pulling him under. And the girls are there trying to help him from the riverbank. And as you're running over, you can see that one of the girls is absolutely laughing her brains out. And the other is just kind of standing there watching everything. Okay, the guy's like yelling and gasping. The current's too strong. The turns to throw me a branch, pull me in, pull me in. And the girl, okay, you guys got that? And the girl laughing suddenly grabs a couple of rocks and starts throwing them at the guy. And you're like, what the WTF, WTF, WTF? And the guy's like, what the hell, what the hell? I thought we were friends. But she doesn't say anything. She just keeps throwing stones. Then the other girl starts to laugh as well and begins throwing stones too, okay? Now, Buddy isn't playing. He's going under. And the girls who are beginning who are beginning to look like... Uh, what? And the girls who are beginning to look like they just emerged from the dark side of hell keep giggling away. When you finally reach up to them, you're like, what's going on? What are you doing? They both say, nothing. He just kind of fell in the water. Like, <laughs> because, well... He didn't do anything. He just kind of fell in the water. <laughs> and this is how they are trying to help. For real. Okay? Now, as it turns out, the one throwing the stones, she, she looks like she's loving it. And she says, and you know, <laughs> and she says, for you to calm down. They're just trying to have fun. But like, seriously, this girl is 100% mischievous and a touch evil. She wants to see this guy bubble up and drown just to see what it looks like. And that, my friend, is the number three WTF on the list today. Just saying, remember, the guy didn't do anything. He fell in the water and she's like, help, help, help. And she starts throwing stones at him. Number three, Gemini. Oh man, yeah. Gemini is ruled by the trickster planet Mercury. And I don't know about you guys, but when I think Mercury, I think automatically, I automatically think of a shit disturbing troublemaker. Not in a malicious way. You know, it's not like she shot the guy, but definitely in a dangerous kind of way. But whatever, she may not 
mean any actual harm, but she sure as ass hasn't stopped throwing stones yet. Just saying. <laughs> so you take your shirt off, okay? And you jump into the water to save him. And when you finally pull him to shore, the other girl starts to cry and begins giving him CPR, which he doesn't need, but you can clearly see that she's falling in love with the guy. And you're thinking, what the hell is going on here? You're in love with the guy, but you won't try and save him? Like you're throwing stones at him with your, your idiot friend? I mean, you'll just sit there and watch him drown. But she doesn't care, right? She wasn't listening to the cries for help in the first place, and she sure as ass ain't listening to you. But it's also clear that She's been drinking spiked lemonade all afternoon. So maybe she doesn't actually, you know, hear you or anyone else. I don't know. But the girl who is watching the man she loves drown without doing anything, you know, then went into full-on nurse mode when you pulled him from the water. Well, that, that is easily the number two WTF of the Zodiac. Easily, easily, easily. Pisces. Very seriously. Now, in her defense... Pisces isn't one fish, but rather two fishes swimming in opposite directions. So with Pisces, you know, what you see is never really what you get. But I'm sure you guys do get the picture here. Gemini is the merging of the male and the female energies on a conscious level. And Pisces is the merging of energies on a subconscious level. But on every single level, both of these guys are going to make you say, What the? <laughs> All right. So that's how it went down, but the story's not over yet. All right, you pull the guy to the shore, right? Check. Pisces is suddenly all over him. Check. Like, you guys knew that was coming, right? You're standing there without your shirt on, dripping wet from just saving this guy's idiot ass, and the Gemini, for some unknown reason, suddenly gets hot in the panties and turns their attention to you. And this is when your sexy little friend, who you've been waiting for all day, finally shows up. And just when you're so over the top to finally see her, she looks at you and Playa, don't tell me you didn't see this one coming. She hits the holy freak. Ugh. She like, how come you took your shirt off? And you're like, uh. <laughs> and then she's like, no, seriously. I saw you on the beach. Everyone was naked, but you had all of your clothes on. Why did you take them off now? And like, Playa, like, she got a point, right? <laughs> and you know, you already know she's worth it, right? But you're suddenly juggling, juggling hand grenades. <laughs> you're juggling hand grenades. And your hands are wet. You're covered in Vaseline. So what's your move, Playa? And seriously, jumping back into the river is not an option. The pain you're about to endure is the only way out. But once again, she's definitely worth it. <laughs> Every little bit and more. So you try and explain. And even though it's the truth, everything you say just digs you deeper and deeper. I saw you go fishing with that Aquarius girl. What's up with that? I saw you go fishing with that Aquarius girl. What's up with that? You choose. I saw you. You wearing clothes on a nude beach all day long, and now you decide to turn it off now. Okay, 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 okay. All right. It was it was tense party, man. All right. And so you try and explain, even though it digs you. I saw. What's up with that? And it's like, no, baby, that's not what happened. I was just taking a break from the party. And she's like, oh yeah, Web. Then where did you disappear with the Libra girl? Oh. Like, oh, baby, she's just a fan. You know, it's not what happened. She has a boyfriend, you know. What? You breaking up families now? Uh, no. No, it's not like, like it's holy crap. You're not going to win this one. And you know it. But then it suddenly dawns in you that she's been checking you out from the moment you hit the beach. She's just been watching you to see what you do. And, you know, to see if you can be faithful. If you really are kind and sensitive and loving. And most of all, worthy of her intense affection and attention which of course you're not, right? <laughs> but she likes you and she's the number one sign of forgiving and giving second chances. I forgive, I forgive you, I forgive you. Okay, she don't, she don't really say that. <laughs> okay, so you give her a big hug and say, and say, it's not like that, sexy. I've been waiting for you all day. You know, it's like, yo, baby, it's not really like that. I've been waiting for you all day and she just does this. Hmm. And you're like, <laughs> okay. okay, because that's like what she says, you know, she goes, mm, mm. okay, that's what they all say, and guys, that's what they all say, all right, so, so you guys make up, you know, and you're like, come on, sexy, let's bounce, I parked over here, you know, let's hit the amp screen, get down to some family time, you know, and, you know, and she smiles because she does love you, and, and she says, yes, let's get out of here, then, you know, so it's like this, this is what happens, so you're like, 
Hey, baby, don't be like that. You know I love you. I've been waiting for you here all day. You know, I'm like, it's not what happened. It's really not. And she's like, huh, huh, oh, uh, okay, uh. And it's like, oh, come on, baby. Mwah. You know, it's not like that. Let's get out of here. I parked over there. Let's, you ready to bounce? She's like, let's go make some fun. And she's like, yeah, let's get out of here. And she's so like, okay, let's go. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's exactly what happens over and over and over again. All right. You guys catch that? Sideways, remember? Our number one biggest W2F sign of the Zodiac. And I love you so much. <laughs> Cancer. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, but like everyone else here, she's absolutely beautiful. And you'd be lucky to have her in your life as long as you know how to swim, right? <laughs> and that's the, Anyways, that's the action, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for giving the video a, blah, 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 a thumbs up. Thanks for sharing the video and donate. Definitely thanks for donating to the channel. Thanks for choosing me for, to, for your psychic throw and astrology readings. And, <laughs> and that's the action from the sunny side.net. I'm sunny. Wishing everyone the absolute best of a beautiful week. Anybody can make you say WTF, guys. It's just the ones on the list today. They like that's they live in that's the world they live in. <laughs> From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny wishing everyone the best of a super beautiful week. And I'll see you guys soon.